everyone welcome back to the channel i hope everyone is having a great day so we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective reads this will be for all signs which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation if it does take what resonates if it does not leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation all right collective so you know i put up some readings earlier today you know, judgments being handled down. Azrael came out, you know, today for me. And that means Angela Death is here. Death card came out, right? So, and, and it's something about, you know, the karmics and the people that were doing things to you. Y'all, the reason, the re reason, <laughs> the reason they keep coming for you is obviously, you know, that they're being run by demons, right? You know, any type of compulsion that they can't stop. Yes, it's a demon. You know, it's not, you know, it's more than mental instability. It is a demon that hates your light of God, right? And when you move with God, when you move with love, and that's your energy right now, your energy is love. Your energy is not, you're not pressed. You don't care. Whatever they do, what they do. You're not even mad. You're just moving on. You know what I'm saying? It's not even that serious. So it is your energy that's causing energetic backfires on everybody who did you wrong, right? So the last reading that I uploaded, y'all need to go back and check that out because it's like, whoa, justice card came out and it's the downloads that I got was like delirium. Like these people are legit losing their freaking minds. And apparently that's the universe saying justice. Like they came for you with the nothing but the energy of hatred. Like they hated everything about you. Well, it's justice that they literally go crazy. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they get energetic backfires, especially for these people who do black magic, you know, and they, they try to, you know, manipulate your energy that has a negative impact on them when it doesn't work on you. You're not on that. You're not on that time. You're on a different energy, different wavelength. You know, so it's like, it's not going to work, you know, but it's like literally the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and thinking it's going to work, but it never does, which is everything that I've been saying on my reading y'all. I don't talk just to hear myself talk when that stuff backfires, it impacts them mentally, making them more and more mentally unstable. So when you got somebody out here that just keeps doing the spell work, thinking it's going to work and it doesn't and you're loving, you're high vibing, that energy has got to go somewhere. It's not going to you. It's going right back, return to center times 10, which makes them more and more mentally deficient, right? It's like the chicken's coming home to roost. It didn't, it didn't sit in you. You know what I'm saying? Like you're still going strong. Like you're not, you're not pressed. You're not down. You're not nothing. So it's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's collective. It's just like a big waste of time, right? So let's go ahead and get started with this energy. You're not wasting time. Like I told you before, you're moving on. And here's confirmation. You got the eight of pentacles and the upright energy. You're putting in a lot of hard work, practice, patience, skill. You know, like you, you're working. Whatever you're doing, you're working. It has a lot to do with pentacles, your work, you know, things to do with finance, uh, stability, and security. You know, and this can show up in a lot of different ways. Like your nine to five job, your new business, a new craft that you're trying to get off the ground. It can be your spiritual journey in general, whatever you're working on something, you know, that could get to that or is going to make you that, you know what I'm saying? And it's because you're the nine of pentacles, you're um, ind independent, self-sufficient, and you're, you're somebody who has pentacles. It's like, you know what the work to do to get to your pentacles, right? You know, single, self-sufficient, independent is your energy. It's like, you're a hard worker. Um, you may be earth time, um, you know, I'm pulling Capricorn very specific. Um, Capricorns, um, one thing about Capricorns, they always like to work. Like they're bored. They go to work. <laughs> they're stressed out. They go to work. You know, and you know, if they're, if they need something to do to kind of fill some time between things, they start working. You know, <laughs> it's, it's a thing. Capricorns are the hardest working Zodiac in, um, hardest working sign in the Zodiac. So this might be you heavy earth sign with the pentacles being, a, a energy of earth doesn't have to be, but that's just an example of what I'm pulling in your energy. Very hardworking. You're not letting anything stop you. You're on that train. Like I said, you're moving forward. You're not letting anything stop you. But here goes some ridiculous people trying to slow you down. Five and ones. This is the second time this keeps coming out today in your energy. Yeah, you have people trying to slow you down. It's more than one. Five and ones is, you know, some type of a conflict, some type of a battle, you know, and we, we constantly see this. So again, this is nothing new to you, collective. Yes, people were trying to stop you, you know, causing you conflict. Um, but again, it had a goal here. Um, Ten of Pentacles in the inverse. It was to stop you from doing your work, which is why you're combating that energy. Told you that energy has got to go somewhere. It ain't going nowhere. You know, the goal was to stop you from working. Ten of Pentacles to have some type of disruption in your finance, security, and stability. It didn't work. 
or it's not working. You know what I'm saying? Because you're working. You know what I'm saying? This, <laughs> this has got to be a Capricorn I'm talking about. It doesn't have to be. Heavy, heavy. You're working. You're focused. You're not letting anything, you know, get in your way. It's just like, whatever, whatever. I'm not, it doesn't even matter about all that. I'm working because you know what you've got people behind you doing. You know what I'm saying? And here's um, one of the main ones right here. This is a Knight of Cups in the Inverse Energy. This is a obsessive, a romantic partner, a manipulative, emotionally manipulative lover. This is definitely the energy of your ex. Their ex is watching your hard work, hawking you, hawking you. I got a couple of downloads about some things that may be happening. This is obviously somebody who's got romantic problems. This is an ex who wants your attention back so bad. Like they want you to see them some way, somehow, like, hey, I'm over here. Like, you don't care. Like, you have moved on. Your ex does not mean anything to you at this time. What means that something to you is what you're doing right now. You know what I'm saying? Collective's like, look, I, it, it's over. Like, you move on. But this person is the manipulative, obsessive lover. Like, they can't move on. It's that demon that keeps them stuck. I told you in the last uh, reading that I had, the energy of delirium is justice. Like, they're legit losing their freaking minds because they can't stop. They can't get over you. They're like, no, I don't want them to live their life. No. But if somebody came along on that exact same time and did the same thing to them, they wouldn't be happy about it. You know, so a lot of people are on that time. You're not on that time, collector. But I'm just saying, if somebody were to match energy, this person would think it was not fair. They would not think it would be fair. They, they would be curled up in a little ball crying. <laughs> Why are they doing this to me? Because they can't handle it, right? <laughs> but you're strong enough to push through that. You went through so much collective. You have went through a lot, but you came out shining, winning on your spiritual seat of authority in a position of leadership that the most high God gave you all in loving energy. Man, like you have done everything. Like you have run circles around all these people trying to do the most to you and still came out way better than they could even dream of. You can't, you come out good right now, collective. Um, I got a couple of downloads about something that may be happening with this, when the, um, this Knight of Cups energy. This is an ex who wants you to see them in some way. This person may have shown up, uh, shown up at your house or your job. Um, again, heavy on there watching you work. Okay. So it's like, they want to stop you from working. Somebody might've shown up at your house or your job. Maybe uh, you work from home. Somebody, um, I'm seeing like a, a vision of somebody like trying to come get your kid and, and it's like not their day for visitation. If you guys co-parent, like this person just wants to pop up. You know, this is what the energy that I'm getting. It's like, Hey, remember me? No, we don't. <laughs> Who are you again? <laughs> but it's not even like a salty energy. It's just like, you've truly moved on. You've truly healed. You don't have nothing to say to this person, but this person wants to be relevant in, in some way. Right. Um, I'm also getting like a situation where it's like a family discord situation. It's like this person, if this resonates for you only, you will know this is you. It's, it's trying to get to you through your family, like maybe calling your family members and trying to tell them to get you to call them. And like, everybody knows what time you're on. You don't want to talk to this person. And you're like, no, I don't want to talk to this person, but they're trying to get to you some way, like trying to pop up, like I said. Um, somebody may have sent you like a random message, you know, it, and it was, it was just to get your attention. That's all it is. They just want to be relevant. Right. But you're just like, you're not relevant in my life. It's not, you know, even like any type of hatred. I'm good. You good over there. You be good. You know what I'm saying? But whatever they did to just kind of pop up six of pentacles in the inverse, it was unfair. It was unbalanced. It was selfish. Right. And it's right under you heavy on the pentacle just to distract you from doing whatever you're, whatever you're doing. That's it. That's literally it. So it's definitely um, a distraction. And that's really all it is. I don't necessarily feel like it was anything that's going to stop you. It was meant to do that. Yes, because it had a goal behind it. But I don't think it truly is because you're really focusing on whatever you're doing. Your hard work, skill, your practice, eight of pentacles in the, in, in the upright. You are the nine of pentacles. You know that it takes hard work to get to all these nine of pentacles. And these people are trying to take all of these mugs from you. You're like, heck to the knot. Nah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, I know what y'all are trying to do. Nah, you're, you're staying focused. You don't care about all that. It's like, you're not even on that time. I don't feel that you even want to go back and forth for this person. I just think that this person's just wasting their time, to be honest with you, collective. You don't even want to argue. You're just, yeah, 
whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Two of Wands in the inverse, they didn't plan well, right? They did not plan well with this, you know, uh, whatever the cockamamie thing that they did to try to pop up in your energy to get some attention from you. You're not, it, it didn't even phase you, legit. You know, they did not plan well, right? Confirm with the fool and the inverse. It, what they did was uh, risking, foolish, and reckless. Trying to take take you off your your path to get your your um, financial security and stability. Heavy on the work. Um, I feel like if this was you that they popped up at your job, I, I think that it could have went further, like escalated into like an argument. But I think that you headed off at the past because I don't feel like you're trying to get, you're not trying to go back and forth with this person. Like it's over, it's done, like you're moving on and you don't even, it's not necessary to go back and forth, right? You're not even on that time. So if that was you, they popped up in your job. You're just like, look, you just need to go. And you just kind of squash it like that, you know? But this is judgment being called on this person. You know, this person is not allowed in your energy anymore. You know what I'm saying, Collective? It's it's a done deal. You know, so it's definitely something to where, you know, uh, it's, you know what this person did and you called them out. But obviously the universe is calling this person out because they're not allowed in your energy. So for them to try to pop up in your energy, is going to backfire on them some way you know what i'm saying literally it's going to backfire on them in some way three cups in the inverse they're not getting victory and success with this group of people that they put um put on your tail you know it because it, it was more than one person as a part of the situation like i said probably family members to try to get you hey call hey tell her to call me you know what i'm saying you know but whatever they did they did not get success um with a group of people or some type of party scene or whatever because it was unfair it's an energetic backfire I do have some downloads um, to share. Um, for some reason, I'm getting locations. Something about Sandusky, Ohio keeps coming out to me. If you're in Sandusky, Ohio, or this resonates for you, Sandusky, Ohio in some way keeps coming out to me. Some Something is going down in Sandusky. <laughs> I don't know. Something's going down. Um, I also have a location of Fernandina Beach, Florida. So uh, this may be going down in Fernandina Beach, Florida. Uh, you know, if you're in that area... We're in that area, from that area, some, somehow it resonates. So I keep getting those two locations. Um, other download that I got is something about blackmail. Somebody may have blackmailed either you, them, or somebody else tied to the situation. There's blackmail going on here in somebody's situation. It's like somebody's got some dirt and they were just like, okay, you need to be a part of this or else I'm going to release such and such and such well somebody's clearly stuck because they were a part of some bs that they never should have been a part of right i do get the energy of whoever this ex is um somebody's got something over their head that if if they leave said group they can be held criminally and legally liable to whatever they were a part of so it's like they dare not leave the group because somebody is just vengeful enough to turn on them too somebody will blackmail them Somebody will be, yeah, you're an attorney who does illegal things. I'm going to go ahead and release this to the DA. I, I feel like somebody could be on that time. And that's what, that's what it gets you when it comes to doing illegal activity with criminals. There is no honor among thieves. So once you put yourself in the middle of a pack of thieves and you, you piss them off or, you know, something happens. Yeah, they're going to blackmail you. You're not, you're not exempt from them doing that same crap to you. You are not exempt, you know? I'm also getting um, some downloads that this group couldn't compete with you. They thought that they could, but you outshine and um, you overshadow them in some way. And that's why they're mad. Like you're, you're doing way better than them. And you're like at peace. Like if you're not happy, you're not, you're not shook, you're not anything. And that's what they wanted. They want you and you're feeling so bad and it pisses them off that you're not, <laughs> you're just relaxed. You're having a good old time. You're eating dinner, you, you know, you might even be, you know, just enjoying yourself with your friends and family, like nothing is bothering you. Quite right. Nothing. Because my, my uh, videos earlier today, you keep coming out in the energy of love, baby. Your energy is wonderful. You are calm, you're tempered, you're at peace, you're the sun, you're the empress, everything, baby. You're like all the way down the line, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and that's you. That's the energy that you want to be in because quite frankly, this conflict was meant to bring you down. So anytime that that's happening, just know that where it's coming from and pull yourself back up, cleanse your energy, stay close to the most high, your uh, spirit guides and your ancestors. I'm also getting an energy that this um, ex may be a fallen angel. 
Um, they also are stalking you and or hacking your personal devices. This person watches you heavy. Um, that person that popped up at your job, that wasn't coincidence. They were watching you. Okay. They are a stalker. That is your stalker. They also look in like, like I mentioned before, cloning your cell phone, a 15 year old can do it. It's not that hard. Um, so they may have cloned your, your cell phone, right? So, but this person is stalking you. I don't think that's news, you know, especially like I said, for the person that popped up at your job, it, you know, that that's you, you know, that they just didn't be like, Oh, I just strolled by your job. No, you didn't. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm also getting a download that it's like, they didn't realize working for the, the devil was so hard. It's like, they constantly have to like do this stuff. And it's like, it's like a, some it's draining for them. You know, they thought it was fun, but it's also draining for them at the same time. It's like, they don't, it's like not as fun as it used to be is what I'm getting. Um, you know, and when it comes to what, what's happening with this group, it's like, it's more draining because it's like, they told people, whoever this group is, the three of cups and the five of ones, they told people, yeah, I don't care about that person anymore. They talk bad about me. So screw them. Do your worst. You know, and it was just like, this person was the catalyst of it. This person might also not want you to blame them because they might be a, a newcomer to the group. It doesn't matter if they're the newcomer. They're the ones that introduced the groups for them to be a newcomer. It was like some type of an initiation, like some type of rite of passage. Hey, it's like getting like jumped into a, like a gang, right? You got to go do a crime to get into the gang, right? Somebody did that to you to get some type of entry into something that was criminal, being a hacker, being a stalker, like everybody does illegal activity. So in order to get in this group, you have to do the exact same thing so they can have that over your head. And when you want to get out, information is going to the DA's office. You're going to jail. The, the problem with this particular person is this person also embodies the energy of a fallen angel. Um, and I wanted to look up like, what does that mean? Right? So, you know, quick, search here all right an angel who rebelled against god and was cast out of heaven so really really easy understanding of what a fallen angel is this person was cast out and like i told you this person's not allowed to be in your contract anymore not in your energy anymore this it gives me the energy of a twin flame that you know rejected their contract with you they're not allowed to come back right so it is what it is so every time they try to come back you get judgment called on you and in public, it's like a, an embarrassment energy that I'm getting with the three of cups. They promised these people that, Hey, yeah, we all can take this person down. I don't care about them anymore. This person dissed me. They talk bad about me. So I'm gonna talk bad about them. Nah, nah, nee, boo, boo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like, it was like this bet, like, yeah, I can do it. Yeah. I can put them in their feelings, but like you didn't stay there. You grew, you overcame and you came out loving, swinging, working You're on your spiritual journey. You got a new business, new craft, new promotion, man. You did better than any of them thought that you would. And they're pissed that you're winning. And not and not sad. These people are like losers. They're they're mad that they're losers. Oh, poor baby. And it's putting this person, this ex of yours, in the hermit energy. And I called that on my very last reading as well. It's like typically the hermit energy is soul searching. This is, you know, removing yourself from society to really take a good look at yourself and be wise in what you're doing and why you're doing it. I unfortunately don't think that it's like that deep for this person. I think it's like they're looking at the fact that they lost and it's like they're realizing it for the first time. It's kind of hitting them in the chest. This person has a big ego. This is an ego death for this person. This is what I'm feeling. The hermit energy, it, it, I don't think it's dark night of the soul at this time. I think it's an ego death. This person cannot believe that they lost and it's really hitting them like, yeah, did the collective move on? Yes, the collective moved on. Did they heal? Yes, the, the collective did heal. Does the collective, you know, hate me? No, the collective doesn't hate you. The collective doesn't hate anybody. Collective is in the energy of love right now. You are looking good, honey. You're looking good. Meanwhile, these people and your ex move in the energy of hate and they don't understand why you're not in that low vibration with them. Like they're mad that you don't hate. Honey, you're a loving person. You're not, you're not walking around being hateful. That's what they do. That's their life. So it's in, you know, my last reading, it was like, they're like, it's delusion and delirium 
they're quite literally going insane because that hatred is turning in on itself because you are not in that energy. You don't hate any one of them. You just know what, what, what's going on. You know what time they're on. But it's, the chickens are coming home to roost for them. That hatred, that energy is not impacting you. It's impacting them to the point where the justice came, card came out about their delirium. They're refusing to see that their fate, their world, uh, world is in the inverse. Like it's an energetic backfire for all the black magic that they did that's not working on you. Your energy is so beautiful right now. Keep that up. But yeah, I think this hermit, I don't think it's dark night of the soul yet. I think this person is just going through an ego death. With the seven of cups in the inverse, they're kind of seeing through the fog and making the right choice to figure out like what in the hell happened here. <laughs> so it's what I just say. It's an ego death. Death card came out in my last reading and I told you this ex of yours is going through a death. Asriel came out a little bit earlier today as well. This is another confirmation two times in the same day. Asriel doesn't play around. Asriel comes in, lets me know what time it is, gets a job done and he, he's out again, right? Death card. Um, the death card, it represents some type of ending, you know, um, change transition. It's an ending of something for something new to begin. I, I feel like this is an ego death for this person while they're in the hermit mode, but I feel like that death is them seeing you really for real, for real moving on. Like you're not trying to argue. You're not going back and forth. You don't care what they do with whomever they do it with. They are all irrelevant in your eyes, right? You love them just the same. You're just loving them from afar. You know what I'm saying? Like your energy is not on that time that they're on. So it's like, while they're, it's like this hermit, it's like they're really seeing Seven of Cups energy in the inverse about this ego death. It's an ego death for them to be like, they don't want to fight and argue. No, you're, you're not. You're, you're, you're at peace. You're calm. You're tempered, right? So this is them recognizing the ending of them, the situation, um, you know, trying to fight and argue and go back and forth with you. You're not on that time because you carry the energy of the sun. Y'all, this is the second time it's come out today. You're in the energy of the sun. You're vibrant, healthy. Um, you know, it's truth, clarity, success, fame. Like your energy is so bright, y'all. This is not an energy that's going to be like in the middle of some mess. That You're not even on that time. You, look, man, you're moving on. You're working. You're focused on whatever you got going on, on your spiritual journey, your actual nine to five go job. And, and this is the, the illumination that this person is seeing. They're like, it's a death to me doing all this crap to them because you really don't care anymore. You really don't care. Like it's irrelevant. It doesn't bother you. They can't bother you. I don't, you are really not caring like at all. Like I feel like a numb, but like numb in like a good way to where they can't hurt you anymore. Like they've done their worst and you come out the best that they could ever thought, think of. Like you come out so good, literally the sun. How, I mean, how, how can you beat this? You know? So it's like the seven of cups, they're seeing through the fog that it's really a death and a transition of you. Not necessarily them. It's just hitting them in the chest because six of wands in the upright, you won. It's a victory, man. I swear it was the second or third time this has come out today. You won. So it's like, it's hitting them in the chest. It's like, I don't, I can't go back and forth and fight with them anymore. They don't want to fight. They don't want to hate me. No. Mm -mm. And that's how, you know, you truly healed collective. And I've been telling all this, you know, in my prior readings, healing is on the journey, getting into a place where you love and you forgive is on your journey. You know, if you, uh, loving and forgiving the people who've done you wrong, it's not for them. It's for you because you know, these people are going to continue to try to come for you. That's what how, they want you to hate them. They want you to fight. They want you to be in a low vibration with them to stop you from doing what you're supposed to doing, uh, supposed to be doing, which is healing. Right. But you've made it past that. You're like, it doesn't even matter. It's not bothering you anymore. Like I feel peace in your energy, just peace. And obviously you're the sun, you're, you're healthy, you're vibrant. You are illuminating the fact that there was a death to all these illusions that they were trying to spin. You're not press. You won six of wands. Meanwhile, this high priestess in the inverse, this is the energy of somebody who does not follow their intuition. They're a liar, they're manipulative, and their secrets are revealed that they are not tapped in, okay? But whoever this high priestess in the inverse was always battling you, right? This a person also carried the energy of the queen of wands in the inverse. This is an energy of this um, insecure, immature, catty, likes to bicker, argue, and um, bully people. This is the person that was, I, I told you, it was a state of delirium, right? Like literally going insane, losing your freaking marbles because your black magic don't work. High priestess in the inverse, 
honey, a black magic don't work. Tell the devil I said it. Tell the devil he has failed yet again. <laughs> Six of wands. <laughs> This person is so triggered by you and most of all triggered by how happy you are in your peaceful, loving state. But this, uh, my last reading, this uh, energy of this Ace of Cups in the inverse came out. This person is full of hatred. Of course, somebody who's full of hatred hates somebody who's in a loving energy. She's just going to have to be in that state of delirium and insanity while that hatred turns in on her and eats her up from the inside. The only person she's hurting is her. But check it. So the Ace of Cups in the inverse came out for her on our last reading. Now it's in the upright, which is overflow, abundance, and agape love, unconditional love. But I know this person's full of hatred. So this Ace of Cups is not because she's a loving person. It's because she loves creating injustices for people. And I've called that energy out on a previous, a previous reading. I want to say yesterday or the day before. This person loves creating injustices for people because she's full of hatred. She hates everybody. Anyone and everyone, she hates them. This person doesn't even love, their, love themselves. If an insecure person is immediately triggered and wants to start doing black magic about you, they hate themselves. They see something in you that they want and they're not and they hate you for it. Honey, that's a you problem. You might want to go look in the mirror instead of doing black magic that don't work. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But yeah, this person does it with the three of pentacles in the upright. Teamwork with a group of people working together. We know that collective because we've already seen that energy come out. And that team was supposed to um, to work against you. Page of Cups energy. This is how you're coming out in this particular reading. You know, you're somebody that's a, a sensitive, emotional. Um, you're intuitive and you have some psychic abilities. You know when somebody's trying to manipulate your energy. You know, high priestess in the inverse who thinks they can just change your energy and you, you don't do whatever you're doing. This person constantly fails, right? Because you're the star. You know, you've come out today as a star as well. You're somebody who's motivating, inspiring. You guide people. And it's like you shine not for yourself, but you shine for other people because you've made it to a point where you're in a loving energy. You care about your fellow man. You care about everybody. And you don't even wish any ill will on these people. You just know that they're filled with demons. And um, there was somebody that I know that told me that when they realize that happens, they just love the hell out of them, which I thought was kind of funny and a cute little play on words. But it's like, I really don't feel like anybody's just really pressed at all you're not you're just moving on you're focused on your work and it's not like an angry focus this is like i'm in my groove this is what i do and i'm moving on right because you're the star you're supposed to and our final clarifier well you are the star you are shining this people this particular person this karmic feminine energy is experiencing the ten of uh, ten of swords a backstab painful ending and it's a painful ending because you're not stuck and this person is it's a painful ending because you don't you're not filled with hatred just like they are they want to hate you so much and they want you to hate them back, but I don't think you do. I think you're in a loving energy and it's just not worth your time anymore. This person is irrelevant in your energy. This person does not matter and that kills them. Literally, ten of swords. Let's go ahead and get some advice from our dreams of Gaia Tarot and help our energies move forward. Card 19. Actually, I actually want to look this up here because um, that's actually not in the book. So I'm going to pull this up here. Wait one second. All right. So some keywords are emotions, feelings, emotional honesty, positive emotions, negative emotions, and acknowledgement. Key phrases are all emotions are necessary. How are your feelings influencing you? Use your feelings to evaluate a situation. Are you a negative person or a positive person? Do not prejudice, prejudice the present based on the past. Fill your day with last, laughter and step back and detach emotionally. Repression, repressing emotions creates dis-ease. Address symptoms of emotional repression and do not lash out in your emotions, which is exactly what this karmic feminine does. Um, and I mean, that's, that's obviously clear to you because everything this person does is like emotionally reactional. And that's like, they can't stand that you're moving in love, but oh well. Let's get a visions of duality and we'll wrap this up. Card 24, the sins of the flowers. Do you really believe in innocence? Even enough of the innocent uh, will be racked by doubt, shame, and feelings of guilt. It is in their own innocence that makes them question themselves and realize that the darkest gray is still no black as the palest ivory is still not fully white. It is what happens to the victims, often those who have suffered true evil, 
And yet with many, uh, with many helps and nudges by the absurd selfish of society, they live as that they were the perpetrators. While those who stand tall, it is not because they have not done badly. It's just they, be, they denied the guilt of themselves. Advice. Do not do anything you are ashamed of and do not be ashamed of anything that you do. Um, and I love this because when it comes to, you know, what you've been through collective, it's like the, the, it's like projection, you know, they scapegoat as you. And I, I said this on a previous reading, you know, especially this, um, your ex and, uh, and the karmic feminine, it's like the ex doesn't want to take accountability for what they did. Of course not. They're just like, well, no, it's the karmic's fault, but you are right in link with the karmics and I don't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? But in, in, it's like water under the bridge at this point. But the thing about it is, is they want you to feel like you did something wrong, but you did literally absolutely nothing wrong. It's this, these people's negative energy, their addiction, their compulsion, the, the demons that are working inside of them that literally makes them not be able to stop. They can't stop. It's literally like a problem. It's a mental instability. Do you know that your ex, did you know that your ex was mentally unstable? Do you know that your ex likes being around mentally unstable people? That's, you know, the question that you know, it's probably going to like rack your brain, but at the same time, it's not your problem. You don't care because the thing about it is your ex likes being around people like that. So that tells you a whole lot about the other people that are around them. And if that's what they like, they can go far away from you. It doesn't even matter to you because when it comes to you, you know what the sins of their flowers are while you are in the energy of love and they are irrelevant. All right, guys, it's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.